Hello, good day friend. Welcome to the part 3 of SQL Server on Azure series. Today, we'll talk on Azure SQL Database versus SQL Managed Instance comparison. We already have part 1 and part 2 where we discussed about different flavors of SQL Server on Azure as well as Azure SQL Database and SQL Managed Instance. So today we'll see the comparison. So let's start. I got the details from this book. This book is freely available on this link. I'll add this link to the description. You can download and read it. So let's start with the backup feature. For Azure SQL Database, conventional database backup and restore statements aren't supported. Backups are automatically scheduled and started within a few minutes of database being provisioned. Backups are consistent transaction wise, hence you can do a point in time restore. No additional cost for database backup storage till 100% of the database size. So if your database size is 100 GB, so till 100 GB you can store backup free of cost. After that you will be charged. Retention period can be reduced to manage the storage cost. So if you are taking a weekly backup and keeping it for a month So in that case you will be charged what you can do if you are taking weekly backup and the retention period is seven days in that case You will not incur any charges Long-term retention period feature is available for Azure SQL database and can be used to store backups in a separate Azure blob container which is cheaper and you can store it up to 10 years. For Azure SQL managed instance, auto backup which are kept for specified retention period, supports native copy only backup on Azure blob containers, no additional cost for database backup storage till 100% of the database size. Long term backup is a public preview feature right now. Okay. If we look now the recovery model for Azure SQL database, default recovery model is full. The reason is recovery model is set when master database is created as master database is read only, hence modification is not possible. Azure SQL Managed Instance, default recovery model is full. Okay. For SQL Server Agent, Azure SQL, there is no SQL Server Agent for Azure SQL Database. For Azure SQL Managed Instance, it has SQL Server Agent. Now, the SQL Server Agent for SQL Managed Instance, you cannot do enabling or disabling and it is always in running state. Now for Azure SQL, SQL Server Agent alternative is like you can create an agent job on an on-premise SQL Server or on an Azure VM to connect and run on the Azure SQL database. Or you can do Azure Automation which allows users to schedule jobs in Azure to automate manual tasks. Elastic Jobs which, an, which is an Azure service can be scheduled to execute ad hoc tasks. Use PowerShell to automate a task and schedule PowerShell script execution with Windows Scheduler on-premise or Azure theme. Now change data capture. For Azure SQL database, change data capture features is not available. For Azure SQL managed instance, it, is, it has that support. Now change data capture allows you to capture data modification to CDC enabled databases and tables. The CDC feature is important in incremental load scenario like online transaction processing. CDC requires a SQL Server agent, hence not available in Azure SQL database. You can use temporal table, SQL Server integration service, Azure Data Factory to implement CDC in Azure SQL database. Okay. Auditing. Azure SQL audit logs are available and need to be saved in Azure Blob Storage. For Azure SQL Managed Instance, this is same. Mirroring. For Azure SQL Database, mirroring cannot be enabled between Azure SQL Databases, but a readable secondary can be an alternative. 
for Azure SQL managed instance, this is same, but here a failover group can be an alternative. Table partitioning for Azure SQL supports partition scheme and partition function. All partitions should be created on the primary file group. For Azure SQL managed instance, partition can be created with different file groups and files for each partition. Replication for Azure SQL, snapshot, transactional and merge replication cannot be done. Azure SQL can be a subscriber to an on-premise SQL server where the version of the SQL server should be greater than or equal to 2012 or Azure VM SQL Server instance. But this is one way transactional replication only can happen. For Azure SQL managed instance, it supports snapshot, transactional, bi-directional replication. Merge, peer-to-peer -peer replication and updatable subscription are not supported. Multi-part names. Azure SQL only three part names. So that is database name, schema name and table name are supported and limited to TempDB only. So with three part names, you can access TempDB only. Four part names are not supported. That means you cannot uh, reference cross database tables. Okay, cross server tables. Cross server cross database tables. Elastic queries can be used for cross database reference. We will come to elastic query in specific section. Azure SQL managed instance, multipart names and cross database queries are supported. Now SQL CLR. Azure SQL database, SQL CLR are not supported. For Azure SQL managed instance, it is supported. Now, SQL CLR allows user to write programmable database objects like stored procedure, function and triggers in managed code. This provides significant performance improvement in some scenarios. Throttle limit resources. Azure SQL database, it is not supported. For Azure SQL managed instance, it is supported. Now, resources like CPU, memory, input, output can be throttled. Global temporary table for Azure SQL database it is not supported. For Azure SQL managed instance it is supported. Global temporary table are defined by double hash and are accessible across all sessions. So if you create a global temporary table in a particular session, other sessions can be able to see the tables. Okay. Use statements. So this is the last feature for Azure SQL database it is not supported and Azure SQL managed instance. It is supported. The use statement is used to switch from one database context to another. So that was about the comparison between two flavors, the platform as a service flavors of SQL Server on Azure. Thank you for watching this.